be forever tonight. And I'm How else were we going to celebrate this special day than with champagne and tons of goodies? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody. A lot of you who are here already know me and that is because you have been rocking with me since the beginning. I thank you so much for having supported my growth here on YouTube. And so today we're going to celebrate together. I've got a bottle of Vuv Clicquot that I'll be opening here in just a moment. I wish I could share it with you, but please if you're at home, go ahead and grab yourself something. Also, we're gonna open up a bunch of goodies. Um, one of these gifts is for one of you guys, a special subscriber, so we're going to do an unboxing then I'm going to put it back together and ship to you. We're also going to do a Q&A. You have left me questions about myself, so I will be answering those. And also, I have a few goodies that I had bought for myself that I said I would not open until I hit 1,000. So, today is the day. Let me go ahead and get my champagne open. So while I'm doing that, I will just tell you like, get into a thousand, get into your first 1000 subscribers on YouTube is definitely a big moment. It is a special time for any new YouTuber, especially for like me, I started from scratch, had no editing skills whatsoever, had to do a lot of research on how to edit. I'm still using iMovie by the way. I will probably upgrade to Final Pro or something like that um, a little bit later on. But I finally know how to use iMovie. And starting from zero, I had, I think, 700 subscribers, I mean, <laughs> followers on Instagram at the time of starting my channel. So it's not like I had a big following or any popularity or anything. I was just doing this just for the enjoyment of it. I absolutely love this kind of content. <coughs> I absolutely love YouTube. I like sharing my content. And, you know, I have a passion for fashion. And in the midst of buying stuff, I would always share my unboxings with my friend Sharice. And then eventually she was like, you should just do a channel. So let's just answer question number one of why I started YouTube. So I was watching other creators out there like Hilo Lux, Alyssa Lenior, Shay Whitney. I was really looking for reviews on products because I was starting my own luxury collection. And so I would watch their channel to see what things I should buy and just to get reviews and opinions before purchasing. So. Eventually, as I started to build my collection, I was like, why don't I also do this and take you guys on the journey with me? So that's how my channel came to be. Anyway, I've talked too much already. Let's go ahead and drink. So good. Well deserved. So I won't spend forever today. I know you're here for the fun, so let's get into it. I have 13 questions. So I think what we'll do is we're going to answer like the first four. We'll do an unboxing, another four, an unboxing, and then the last few, another unboxing. Because I have four things to unbox. And then I'll show you what the giveaway prize is going to be at the end. So let's get rolling. I'm using my iPad so I can remember what the questions are. I don't remember necessarily who asked them, but you know yourself, so... Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of my answer. So, question number one, where are you from? I know you probably hear an accent on here. I am from Jamaica, born and raised. I'm now 33. I moved to the US when I was 20, going on 21. And I first lived in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I My first job was with Delta Airlines as a flight attendant because I trans... Well, I didn't transfer. I was... My first, first job ever was with Air Jamaica in Jamaica. And so when I was moving here, I got a job with Delta Airlines and started as a flight attendant. And so I lived in Minneapolis until I moved to Atlanta. Question number two. What do you like about living in Atlanta? Yeah, it's going on nine years since I've lived in Atlanta. I love it. I love that it's so easy to travel from here. We have a great airport. I love all the mountains we have. I like to drive up to the mountains sometimes. 
I like anywhere that you can get a scenic vibe without going too far so I can get that. And right now I live in the city of Buckhead so I like having that access to the city but in the um, neighborhood where I live it still feels very scenic and very homey and very like almost like an oasis, like my backyard looks like a little nature preserve. So I love that. Being in the city, but still having a lot of green space and outdoor access to the outdoors and stuff. I really, really love that. And um, we have really great shopping here. Phipps Plaza, Lenox Mall, shops at Buckhead. So that's amazing for what I do. I don't like that Atlanta doesn't have any water, like a beach or anything close by. But I travel for that, so it's okay. So question number four is, do I work besides doing YouTube? Yes. I am an entrepreneur, so I own a business called Jody Melissa. I've introduced you to our tote bags before. This is something I became passionate about when I was doing my master's degree in marketing. Um, we are banning plastic bags throughout the world as we should. Um, they're really bad for the environment and so on. And I just wanted a cute way to help reduce plastic waste. And so I came up with these beautiful totes. They're made out of natural jute fabric and they have interior pockets. You can wipe them clean. So basically like your everyday beach bag or your everyday farmer's market, shopping tote, your mom bag, things like that. There is more information about them on my website and I've put a link in the description box for you. My YouTube fans will get a discount of 20% using the code Jody 20 and I put it all in the description box for you. Also, I am a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach, so I do have clients. I write programs um, for my clients. I don't necessarily um, do like one-on-one -on -one training, but I do write programs, so that is another thing that I do. And I'm a full-time mom that qualifies as a job. So, okay. Oh, let's open something up. Let's, 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 that was four questions. Let's open something. Okay, what do we want to open? Let's open something good. Let's open up this item that I got from Chanel. All right, so I purchased this from, actually I didn't go to the store to get this. I told my essay I was interested. She found one, sent it to me. So let's just take a quick look at it. Super cute. Oh, here we go. So this is a card holder, um, a Chanel 19 card holder. So it's in a dark brown color with this CC on here with the dark brown leather going through it. Super pretty. It has two slots on this side, one here, and then it has this middle compartment. So very cute card holder. I can't remember how much this was, but I will put it in the description box for you. You probably heard me mention several times in other videos that I'm looking for something where when I'm not bringing my wallet, I can take the cards out that I need and put them in a smaller thing. So this is what this is for. Let's move on with the question. So question number five, do you work out? Yes, I absolutely work out. I've been working out for the past four and a half years. I fell in love with the gym when my daughter was about a year and a few months and I've never looked back. I actually started from being very skinny, so I was like a double zero, size zero, and I just wanted to get some muscle, have a bit more definition, and grow a little bit of a body, you know, thicken up a little bit, and so that was my mission when I got in, but I enjoyed it so much, fell in love with it. I became certified, became certified in nutrition as well, and it's just a part of my lifestyle now. Um, yeah, I go to the gym at least three times a week, there are weeks when I get super busy with my business and with YouTube and I've fallen off a couple times where I might only go one time, but never anything passed in like a week or two. So I'm, I'm very regular and you've probably seen that my body has changed quite a bit, but I'll probably bring you a transformation video at some point.
All right, question number six. What is my favorite jewelry brand and why? So, oh my gosh, this is a hard question. Obviously, I love Tiffany, right? But for me, I wouldn't put myself to say I have a favorite jewelry brand. Jewelry is one of the things that I can appreciate from many different brands, many different producers. There are so many great small jewelers out there that make amazing jewelry. I just love jewelry. As long as it's beautiful and it's high quality, it really doesn't matter to me as much um, where it is from. But just for the sake of having some things that are associated with a big brand, Tiffany is my favorite for that. Um, I love their diamonds. Tiffany diamonds are exceptional. So for like my diamond studs and my um, ring and my necklace and so forth, I feel Tiffany is the best for when you're looking for diamonds. But other than that, I feel there's tons of great jewelers and I appreciate them all. Someone else asked... <laughs> Um, kind of a same question about who's my favorite designer or jewelry brand. I think that we're being a bit more um, general. So designer when it comes to um, clothing and shoes and so forth. As far as clothing goes, I really love affordable clothing that's super chic. So I'm a Zara kind of girl, ASOS. And here in Atlanta, we have a lot of small women-owned boutiques. And I love to support them all. You guys have seen me support La Glace several times. But there are some other ones that I have met, especially when I go to pop-ups here. When I go to pop-ups for Jody Melissa, I meet a lot of other female entrepreneurs. And a lot of them have boutiques and I like to support them. So that's where majority of my clothing comes from. And in terms of like bags and shoes, I really love Chanel. I feel like Chanel is at the top of my list um, for bags. And I am a shoe lover. I don't really care where the shoes are from. I just love me some beautiful shoes. So moving on to question number nine. Would you buy an Hermes Birkin or Kelly? I would buy an Hermes Birkin or Kelly if they would let me. So, <laughs> um, I have a vlog coming up where I had a little rant about that, but it's not something that I'm hurting for. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it just doesn't make sense to me to lose my mind for something when I have so many other things that I have access to and that I can appreciate. You know, it just, it doesn't add up for me to chase after the one thing I don't have. It's totally fine. We'll let it happen um, as it should, when it should. And of course, you guys will hear about it. And by the way, I'm a Birkin girl. I prefer the Birkin to the Kelly. So there is a Birkin I would like to get at some point. We'll just see how it goes. We've made it to the end of question nine. Yeah, let's go ahead and open another item. Okay, what should we open next? Let's take a look at this Louis Vuitton Let's be item. Let's see what's tonight, in this box. And I will let you make up your mind. This is a bandeau. It's red on one side and the Louis Vuitton kind of brown and gold on the other. Guys, I really love the brown and gold by Louis Vuitton. It's such a beautiful color. Actually, my favorite colors are a brown and gold combo and so Louis Vuitton kind of came in really well. But basically, I like to wear their bandeaus in my hair. This one can go something like so or I could put it under and make a tie. Or when my locks get longer, I can like tie it up. But I really like these cute um, bandeaus as like hair accessories. So that is why I purchased them. I want to say this one was like 185, something like that. I do have another one you've probably seen me in in my Napa Valley vlog. Um, I do enjoy wearing them. And the stage where my locks are now is just great having nice hair accessories to kind of jazz it up sometimes. Okay, so we're going to get into the juicy stuff. Everybody wants to know about my husband, so I will tell you about him in just a little while. So let's put questions 10 and 11 together. 
Um, 10 is, what was your first luxury piece and what would you suggest to others as their first luxury piece? And 11 is, when did you discover you wanted to work in fashion? So for me, when I was growing up, I would always enter like the local school pageant and things like that. I would do modeling competitions with my friends in the street where I lived. So I was always a girly girl. I loved fashion. I loved pretty clothes and so forth. So I had a knack for it since then. And then as I went to school, I did a business degree and then I got a marketing degree. So it's always been things, it's, it's always been more of a hobby, more of a passion in my personal life, not necessarily something I did until now where it has made sense where I'm just pursuing the things I truly enjoy and not necessarily the things that society tells you you have to do, you know? So first pieces, a lot of my jewelry, so like my diamond studs and my engagement ring. Um, I always believe when you're going luxury to get a good balance of jewelry as well as, you know, your bags and so forth. So definitely include some jewelry in your collection and I have a video on that, how to start your luxury jewelry collection. And then as far as the bags and so forth go, I think, oh my goodness, I can't really remember. Um, what did I get first for handbags? I think my YSL wallet on chain was one of the first things I got because I wanted to start off with my neutrals and I really needed something nude. So I got that, um, which I still wear it all the time. It's still in excellent condition. Ooh, I got my Louis Vuitton Wynwood very early on when I was building my collection. So that was more of the blacks and the browns and the gold. So also another um, everyday piece, everyday in the sense that it's neutral and you can wear it a lot um, with many different outfits. And I also got my Louis Vuitton Neverfull very early on. And I know a lot of people talk a lot of crap about the Neverfull, but that's okay. It is a popular bag because it is a very durable bag and it does fit quite a lot. And despite it being popular, you truly can dress it up and dress it down and use it as an everyday carry-all. For me, I got it because I have a daughter and I needed to have... A larger tote that I can really put all the things we run a lot of errands I have to take her to her swimming and gymnastics classes and so forth and I really did need a bag that could fit you know towels and change of clothes and change of shoes and you know things like that so definitely a great mom bag and it won't get dirty and messed up well some people do ruin theirs I don't know how but anyway if you take care of it it's going to last you for a lifetime and so that was a bag that I got early on now I use my Joe to Melissa totes a lot because seeing that moms really do need something that is durable that you can wipe clean and you know that's great for the errands and the running around of life um, so I use it a lot now and my Neverfull has been parked for almost a year. So that's that reality. Okay. Question 12. Let's just run through these last two questions and then we'll open up the last couple items and also do the giveaway. How about that? So question 12. How did you meet your husband and what does he do for a living? So I got this question from so many different people. Um, I know my video on my custom safe sparked a lot of interest into who he is. So he's a celebrity on my channel <laughs> in his own right. But prior to us buying this house, we lived very close together in our previous neighborhood. And that is how we found each other. And one of the first dates, if it was a date, was it a date? I don't know. We, he invited me to this event um, that he was going. And, uh, well, I should tell you what he does and it will make sense. So he's a venture capitalist, aka VC. He invests in young technology startups. He does the funding for them in their early stages. And hopefully they will grow up to be a star. Kind of like your Googles, Airbnbs, Ubers of the world. Right? So that's what he does. So early on, we went to this event for one of these companies. This one was a minority-owned company. So we were there together, and the way everyone was so in love with him 
like people were coming up to him and showing their respect and being so thankful and so grateful for the impact that he has had on their life um it's like people in the room were just so you know that genuine appreciation you have for someone who really changes your life or really impacts your life in a positive way and just watching how everyone was in awe of him in the sense that he has been so helpful and such a good person people were coming up saying things like we are so thankful for you. You're the only person who will drive to this side of town. You're the only one who would give us a shot. You were there to listen when no one else would. You are the reason we are where we are today. It is thanks to you that we have made it this far. Stuff like that. And for me being there as an observer, if I needed a second opinion on his character or what kind of person he was, like I got it that day. Like that was confirmation for me that he was a good human. And yeah, that if I had any doubt, <laughs> they were all erased um, when I went to that event. I think that had a lot to do with our relationship going forward the way that it did. So yeah. Moving on, <laughs> question number 13, and this is our last question and then we'll open up the rest of the stuff. So what are your future goals for your YouTube channel? So it's only been six months, guys. I'm so grateful to have made it this far in under the six month mark. Um, if you don't know, it is a tough road on YouTube. A lot of people don't make it to their six months for like 18 months, two years, a long time. You know, it can take a long time. Even one of the creators I follow, Katherine Mannon, she teaches you how to grow your YouTube channel. And she didn't make it until 18 months. And even when she got there, she still did not have her 4,000 watch hours that are also required as yet. So it took her even longer to get to the watch hour threshold. So I'm very, very grateful to have made it here. I actually got my watch time a long time ago. One, because a lot of people watch but don't subscribe. And two, because you guys who have subscribed are so wonderful and you're always here showing your support and you watch my videos and I thank you so much for that. Um, the support is the only reason I'm even having this conversation today. So I'm so thankful for that. So as far as the future of my YouTube channel goes, I will continue to produce contents like this. I have a holiday series coming up where I'm going to show you tons of gift ideas um, that are affordable and that are cool. I won't give it away, but definitely stay tuned. I also enjoyed doing the Napa Valley vlog of our travel, of our trip to Napa Valley, and I want to include more luxury travel or just travel in general, just me going places and enjoying the place and sharing it with you and providing you with inspiration. So I want to add more travel to my channel next year. Hopefully COVID isn't crazy and I will be able to do that, but I do see more travel coming in, mixed in with the luxury. Of course, my locks will continue to thrive. So I'll continue to give you videos on my locks. On that note, I want you to tell me in the comments what the first video you saw was and uh, which video made you subscribe and uh, why you're here is it for locks or for luxury or for both so just leave that in the comments below okay guys i think it's time to open up our giveaway well actually let me do my last gift to myself and then we're gonna open the giveaway i <laughs> I have this Chanel bag in here. I'm not opening this one today. It wasn't because of the 1,000 subscriber threshold being met why I bought that. It was for another reason, a very juicy reason concerning my husband. And that vlog is coming out, I think, next week, Monday. So tune in to watch that vlog and you will see why I have this Chanel bag. But I did purchase this other item from Saks, so let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so I have this one quick little thing. I will link it in the description. I really can't remember the name of the designer, but it is a sterling silver hair accessory. This one is sterling silver. It's like this with the ties, 
and my daughter had made me one of these out of grass <laughs> and I loved the way my hair looked it was so pretty and I thought I would buy a real one so it kind of goes across like this and you can tie it in the back and other cute little things you can do with it I'll probably bring you a video on how I plan to style it um but I think it's so cute it was $245 but it's real sterling silver and I love hair accessories and my locks need them so that was the reason for that purchase. So this is the last item for myself. I purchased it from Saks Fifth Avenue. They were having a purchase a purchase an item and then get a certain amount off, and I got three hundred dollars off of these. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so these are some beautiful boots from Balmont Paris. How pretty are these guys? So I told my friend Charisse, who also doubles as my stylist, that I was looking for brown boots and she found these for me at Saks. They're these beautiful combat boots. I believe they are called the Romy. I will link them for you. So they're the Romy by Balmont Paris. I love this bee on them. Um, they're so cute. They're so sturdy. They feel so nice and strong. And then they have a little bit of a logo uh, monogram on the side here. But it's not, it's very, very subtle. It's very pretty. And I love the contrast in color. So more of that light beige and then your deeper brown. And then there's some black as well. So I can see myself wearing these quite a bit. Very, very beautiful shoe. I absolutely love them. So I'm not going to try on the shoes today because it won't work with this outfit. By the way, this outfit, the top is from ASOS and these pants are from Spanx. I will link them in the description box for you. I'm sure the top is gone because I've had it for more than a year. But these are the Spanx um, leather leggings and they're so beautiful. I will link them for you. Moving on to our giveaway! I am so excited, guys, for this giveaway. Let me refresh my glass for this giveaway. This is so exciting. So why am I having a giveaway? I'm having a giveaway because getting your first 1,000 subscribers and your first 4,000 watch hours on YouTube is so hard, okay? Like I was telling you earlier, it takes some people almost two years, even professionals, to get to that point. So it is a big deal. And one of the reasons it's a big deal, it's that at that point that YouTube really starts to recognize you as a serious creator. And with consistency, that's when your channel really starts to grow. Also, that is when YouTube allows you to monetize your channel. So the ads that you're seeing during the video, the creator is getting a portion of that. And, um, you know, that's how you earn money on YouTube or one of the ways that you can earn money on YouTube. And that's why it is such a big deal. I will bring you another video where I go more in depth on that and kind of tell you some of the strategies. The one thing that I will say is if you are a new creator or you're looking to do YouTube, don't do it by yourself. Watch other channels that are all about how to grow your YouTube channel and learn from them so that you don't start from ground zero. So let's see what the gift is for a special subscriber. And this subscriber is special because, as I was saying, it's so hard to get to this point, right? There are two things that can help you get to this point that are exceptionally critical for any channel. One is hitting the thumbs up button, so go ahead and hit that right now. And two is leaving comments on videos. I know, I know you hear creators constantly saying, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. We're not just saying that, okay? Those are the things that YouTube looks at to determine whether they should push your content or whether they should help your channel to grow. Are they gonna show it on the browse page? Are they going to recommend it to people? Will it pop up in the notifications? Are, is your video going to come up in search? That's what YouTube is looking for. So if you guys are watching the videos and you enjoy them, but you didn't hit the thumbs up and you didn't leave a comment, you have not helped the creator of that video. So I'm so thankful to those of you 
who are always you know being consistent with your comments and your thumbs ups they are so important to the growth of your channel your channel cannot grow without without those things so i implore you hit the thumbs up button leave the comments that i asked you for and if you watch other youtubers do the same for them that is what we need in order to grow and to have momentum on youtube so i have a special subscriber who has never missed a video who has always commented and thanks to her i can definitely calculate that she is one of the people who has made this moment possible and i wanted to get something special i will be having another giveaway when i get to 5000 subscribers so look out for that just hang out with me guys i will always be doing things like these because i appreciate you so much without further ado so i went to tiffany and company um this is an extra box my essay wanted me to have just to show you guys what the holiday packaging looks like i'm super duper sad to open this but i want to show it to you and then i'm going to bring it back and get it rewrapped at to the store and send it off so this is our 1,000 subscriber giveaway present. And it's in here in this cute Tiffany and Company pouch. And let's see if I can open it up. Yay. She's so pretty. So you guys probably know my bead bracelet in gold. This is also a bead bracelet from Tiffany & Company. So this is a sterling silver Tiffany & Company bead bracelet similar to the gold one that I have here. It has a cute little heart tag. I picked out the one that has a Tiffany blue on one side and then it is silver on the other with a little diamond in it and it is so, so pretty. I just thought some arm candy would make a great gift. And I wanted to share it with one of you guys who is so special. So the winner of today's giveaway is Sean Davis. Sean, thank you so much. You have no idea how appreciative I am of everything you have done for me. As I was telling you guys, those comments, those thumbs up, they go a long way on getting a new creator recognized on YouTube. And Sean has been there. She's there for the unpopular videos. She's there for the locks, even though she's into jewelry. She's there for everything. And I appreciate her so much. And so this is for her. My next giveaway will be at 5,000 subscribers. And that one will be more of a random giveaway. I'll actually have you guys sign up for it. And that way anyone can get chosen. I am so thankful to be sharing this moment with you. Look out for my holiday content. Look out for more content on my hair. And thank you guys so much. This is such a special moment. And I appreciate you helping me to get here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in another video.